So I grew up loving music, especially hip hop. I grew up in upstate New York, and I remember listening to like Nas and Biggie. Used to love the lyrical ability, and uh, I, st I never really got into rap. But when I when I came to know Jesus, then uh, He led me to buy this this real expensive keyboard, sixteen hundred dollar keyboard. And I remember sitting down with it, not knowing what to do, what to press. I had never played the keyboard a day in my life, so it was just a crazy vision for me to go out and get it. I met Fluency over here back in 2008. We got together. I thought that um, I would make beats. He would rap because he was always uh, the rapper. And I remember the very first uh, rhyme that I wrote ever in my life. I used to write poetry, but the first rap rhyme I ever wrote was um, the second verse to a song called Resurrect, which talks about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And it's a fast rhyme. Crazy rhyme to write at first, but that's what I have been given, and uh, ever since then, man, I haven't looked back. Leave it in the past, leave those sins behind. Woo! Forget your guilt and shame, get it out your mind. Your sins have been forgiven, Don't. transgressions are removed. Don't. As far as east is from west, my life is living proof. I was a young rebel, I was a selfish son, running off at the mouth like a smoking gun. Sin used to bully me, it took my lunch money, but now I'm beating it, calling my punch dummy, and I stay hungry. For the word of God, living for the one who died on the wooden rod. He took my sins from me and brought them to the tomb. Left them there with the grave where they were consumed. Sin has no power, sin has no strength to change it. Yesterday are broken, forget your past mistakes. Sweep them to the side, that's where they need to be. Get on your feet and dance, because you are free. Dude, say you got flow in that song. Man, I've been writing music for a long time, probably since about fourth or fifth grade. Uh, my pops, my dad gave me a guitar when I was about four years old and man I've been in the music ever since I mean drums bass started writing lyrics like rap probably in the eighth grade though and uh came to Christ and just started using it for uh for his glory rather than my own since you're looking for the truth and the roots of the truth it's Jesus of Nazareth time to open your eyes get humble in size because in the truth humility is really big let's dig looking at this prophecy spoken around 700 BC of the coming king he was crushed for our iniquities and pierced for our transgressions the lesson of the message is a blessing if you let it set in let it put your mind in a different direction to get your mind off your present possessions to see the destined Woo! blessings in heaven, heaven. Man, before I met Jesus, I thought God was some hardcore angry guy in the sky who just, uh, man, who just hated us and we had to do everything strict, 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 strict to please him. So that, of course, scared me like crazy. So, I, you know, I came to the cross, but I, but, I mean, it made me aware of my sins. So, but after I, after I met Christ, I, I have to say, man, it's his love that just makes you motivated. It, it makes me pursue him every day, you know, and I mean, Everything leading up to Christ, all the events was just like, I just like felt like God was saying, you know, there's something more than all of this. Okay, hating sin, loving God. So the watchman was started because people need to hear the truth of Jesus Christ and they need to hear it in a creative and cool way. You know, there's a lot of youth and the truth is that they're not going to hear it by just coming in the church doors. We live in a world where we need to go out and reach the people. And how do we do it? We have to be creative. There's gifts that God has given us and, and Christian rap is a gift. It's, it's a tool that God has given us. And I never knew I would rap. I never expected it. But for whatever reason, God saw it fit to give me this gift. And so as I go out there and I look at the, at the world, I see the need that pe for people to hear the love of Jesus. Ultimately, the Bible says that God wants to make disciples out of us that impact our worlds. And so I believe that's why God has positioned us to be able to do that. You're talking about two white guys who rap. I mean, we're funny on stage. We act like goofballs, you know, all the time with our families, with our friends, man. I mean, we get together and we have a really good time, even on stage. And, and I just see that God has created us to have fun with it and to enjoy it. Hey, sin, love God is basically a phrase that we use to, uh, to just state how we want to live our lives. We want to 
hate sin, and the way to hate sin is to love God. I think it's Psalm 9710. 97.10 says what? That those who love the Lord hate evil. There you go. Those who love the Lord hate evil. So the more that we love God, the more that we'll hate evil. Look, loving God is not just uh, going to church on Sunday. It's not anything religious. It's, it's a lifestyle. It's loving God with your whole heart. Uh, treating people with kindness and respect. It's just, it's just living the kingdom of God on this earth.